Hey everyone, Ninth Street Auto Plaza located in Mount Carmel, Illinois. Today we got a really good looking 2011 Chevy 2500 HD. It's got the LTZ package, it's got the 4x4, and yes folks, it does have the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax and paired with an automatic 6 speed Allison transmission. It's been deleted, it's got the 5 inch exhaust all the way out, and it sounds really good. Uh, 130,000 miles in this unit. Uh, I personally, I am the owner of the dealership and I've been driving this for the past year. I've hauled uh, all the way up to Canada with it before, cars, you name it. Uh, good truck, love it. Uh, I just went up to an 18, exact same truck. Uh, I'm gonna tell you everything about it. We're gonna go through it. It's a really clean truck. Uh, we're gonna point everything out. Not really much to point out on the hood. It's something I didn't get off when I was waxing it. Uh, but no dents, anything like that. The chrome's in excellent shape. Uh, headlights, um, these do have aftermarket headlights in it and they are bright. You can see the red eye dyes in there. Um, extremely bright. So that's what I really loved about this truck. Um, moving on guys, there's not really much to say about it. It's got a lot of chrome on it and it's shiny. Uh, going down the driver's side, we do have one little nick right here and a little nick right here somebody actually has touched up before I got the truck. Uh, there's a road uh, rock chip right there. Uh, but other than that, no dents, anything like that. Tire condition, uh, they're probably around 40%. Um, they are ATs, and these are uh, 285 60R20s. Rims are in excellent condition. Uh, moving on down, driver's door, we do have a nick. Somebody has touched up there and there. Of course, there's going to be some road debris down here. Steps are in good shape. Uh, this is a little bit, uh, needs some uh, double side tape put on that. That is coming up on that side. There is, uh, no, 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 no. there's a little rock chip right here in the passenger rear door. Like I said, guys, this got, just got detailed. You're not going to see it any cleaner. Uh, so I'm going to try to point out everything I can. does have a little bit looks like somebody's touched up cab corner at rust that has started on it but uh nothing nothing bad for this year truck and the mileage truck bed's in excellent shape it's got the z71 package on it tire condition is roughly the same all the way around the, the truck and the rims excellent condition on the rims um like i said guys i've hauled with this thing plenty uh has all the power i need uh the downshifting etc does great uh pulling with it allison uh, rear, the one thing I want to tell you, the backup camera is not working. Uh, that's one thing I did miss. Everything's in good shape. Uh, obviously your trailer for tow package, etc. It does have, uh, this is a tip on it. I'm not sure what size that is, uh, but it does a true five inch, four inch coming out of the turbo and then uh, going to five all the way back. The same whistles and it does have a, um, pop-off valve that uh, really sings to you uh, all the time so everybody looks at this truck when we're coming by I pick up my son at school and uh, a lot of people are staring at it because it does sound really good there's one Nick down the side right here but no dents anything like that uh, passenger rear door there's a Nick right here cab corner a little bubble right here like I said, guys, 2011, you're looking at this thing and you're gonna say, yeah, this is in pretty good shape. Passenger uh, door, there's a little nick right there. Front fender, really anything to note on it at all. Again, tire condition. Eventually it's gonna need some tires, probably for winter. Four wheel drive, everything like that works. Interior is in excellent shape. Uh, front door skin, good to go. You do have books right there. Caught. There we go. Uh, no, uh, there's one little tear right here. That's pretty common, but it's, it's small in this dash, and there isn't one over here. So, dash is in excellent shape, also. Uh, passenger seat is power. Everything works as it should. Comfortable truck. Like I said, we hauled with this thing, hauled snowmobiles up north, and uh, did excellent. Rear door skin, excellent condition. You do have your childproof lock located there if needed. Rear seats, excellent condition. 
drinks. Got a rear 12 volt and you do have, that comes down for two drinks there too also. It does have the factory uh, uh, mats in it. Plenty of storage, your jack. And we'll start the truck up just here in a second. And rear door scan, driver's side, good condition, shell proof locks located there. Again, along with the uh, back seats in excellent condition also. Front door scan, good condition. You do have heated seats, back or back end bottom. Memory seats also. There's a smudge right here, there's not a tear. Uh, just uh, some takeaway of the actual color of the leather right there. Uh, seats in excellent condition, the bolster's in, in firm condition too. There is no rips or tears in the driver's seat. Uh, pretty uncommon for this year. Like I said guys, this is my truck. I drove it for the last year. I don't have any complaints. Starting it up. Okay, there are no check engine lights, uh, anything like that. Right now we got 130.952 in the miles, 130.952 in the miles. It does have ice cold AC. We'll turn that down a little bit here. Uh, like I said, guys, um, really nice truck. No codes, anything like that. Oil pressure's running uh, right where it should be. We're gonna do a real quick rev test and you'll watch the RPMs. So, runs out great. Because the only reason I'm getting ready to this, uh, I just got a uh, 18. So same truck, everything, just near year. Um, going on, we're gonna go through all your electronics. Uh, we do have your uh, mirrors. Driver's side works as it should. Passenger side works as it should. And then we do have, let's see, how's this work? I never really used them. It's got power folders. I'm not sure exactly how to do it. work. I don't know how exactly how to do it. Okay, we'll just get, move on from there. That's a power uh, down, not just a regular up. That's a power down and a regular. These are just up and downs. All function as they should. You got your interior lighting. It's good to go. Uh, moving down here over to here, your four-wheel drive. Uh, it goes right in. Um, And down here we do have your trailer brake uh, tow package down here. It is a factory uh, tow package. Uh, auto lights, dome, etc. Your fog lights there. Um, moving on to your center stack. This uh, line of rows does all your odometer and stuff right in here. Um, obviously it does have the uh, Bose stereo system in it. And you can control that over here. Uh, your volume and everything. Hands free, your right here, source button, uh, volumes over here, up and down. All works as it should. Uh, cruise control, all that works too. Um, moving on down to, you got your power pedals. And they work as they should. 12 volt on each side, you got your parking sensor. Uh, this thing does have one code, or not code, but a uh, message come up and I can show you, I forgot to do it. On the rear bumper, if you see across it, there's missing one of the uh, parking sensors on it, and it will come up and tell you that. Um, it's your uh, traction control right there, and your exhaust brake. Okay, what are we going missing here? Plenty of storage, very clean. Got your 12 volt, you got USB in the back here. Your on star stuff like that, like over there. Um, yeah, I turned that thing on, turned it off. So, 
It does have the uh, lights, the illumination on the outside of the lights where it will shine down on the actual when you open it up and then the turn signals come on out there. I'm gonna take you around the back and uh, show you that sensor and the exhaust and then we'll go underneath the hood. There's that sensor. And that sound will transition to a um, like a type of sound and it does that quite often and when it's not quite so hot out. It's got the XDP uh, cold air intake. It is deleted. It does have a loud pop-up valve. So it'll whistle at you. That guys, really nice truck. Um, I, like I said, I drove it for a year, um, don't have any issues, just got me a new truck. Um, moving on, uh, let's do a little recap on it. It's a 2011 Chevy 2500 HD LTZ package, 4x4. It's got the 6.6 .6 Duramax, uh, automatic six speed Allison in it. It's deleted, exhaust, 130,000 miles on it. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call at 618 450 2600. Get us on the web where you see the Carfax and the video of this truck on nightstreetautoplaza.com. Again, ninthstreetautoplaza.com. Guys, hope this helped your uh, buying experience. You guys have a wonderful day.